And I just want to mention about props first. I have two blocks that I'm having under my knees. I'm sitting on a folded blanket. And then I, I mentioned in the email that Judy Davis sent out um, that you might want to have some props available. And this is a cylindrical bolster that we might want to use later on for Shavasana. And then also have a nice rectangular bolster, which is fabulous to sit on, especially if you have tight hips. It'll allow your knees to, to come down from your hips. And uh, so I'm going to start with blocks. So let's first start just by noticing the breath. Just noticing the breath. Inhale and exhale. And sometimes just noticing the breath, we start to smooth out the breath. Let's start to actually work the breath. It's called pranayama. Work our breath. So go ahead and inhale through the nostrils, deeply into the lungs. Feel those ribs expand, belly expands. Exhale, open the mouth. Let the breath flow out of the mouth all the way down to the ground. Let's do a couple more together. Inhale. Fill the inside of you. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Send the breath down the spine. Feel the sits bones connect with the ground. Inhale, lift, fill, exhale, let the mouth be open, send the breath all the way down the spine, feel the hips heavy, it's connecting to the ground, soft eyes, soft face. And now let your breath find its own natural rhythm. And let your eyes be soft and maybe even closed. So you're, you're drissier or you're looking inwards. And then go ahead and let your chin drop down and look inwards toward the heart center. And at this moment, go ahead and give yourself a loving affirmation. Like I am whole, I am peaceful. Just give yourself a very brief loving affirmation. And with that affirmation, sometimes maybe will come a color or an image and just allow that image or those colors to come up for you. And imagine taking the energy from those images and drawing them inwards toward the heart center. So they're light and bright and strong. And then on an exhale, release the breath and send that energy outwards across the heart all the way down to the hands. Rest the hands on your lap or the ground, whatever makes you comfortable. And then go ahead and open your eyes and come back into the space. I'm going to put on a little bit of music so we can continue with some movement. Let's just draw the shoulders up by the ears, roll the shoulders back and down as the chin drops down. Chin parallel again, lift those shoulders up, roll them back and down. And then clasp the hands behind you, draw the shoulder blades together. Still keep that chin parallel to the ground. Exhale, flow to the other side. We'll do a 
couple more of these, and while we're doing this, I'll just mention that this is considered the vinyasa flow class. And that means, or one way to interpret that is the breath goes with the movement. So as we go through this, you should be able to breathe comfortably. And if you find that you're out of breath, just go ahead and slow down or stop. And that will help you a lot. I'm going to release my blocks and I'm going to actually release my blanket. So go ahead and release anything you're sitting on now, unless for some reason you still need that support. And lengthen your legs out in front of you. And we're going to come into what I call Dandasana or seated Tadasana. So your toes are pointed up to the sky, your thighs are really firm, and then your hands are right next to your hips. Press in your hands, nice long arms. On an exhale, let the elbows bend and soften. I'm going to start off with this leg. Go ahead and bend the knee, lift it up, and lift your hands under the ankle and the calf. And we're just going to rock side to side. Try to open up the hips. And then rest that ankle just above the opposite knee. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold forward just from the hip crease. Heart leads. No round spine yet. Beautiful. Then lift it back up. Nice. This hand to the instep. Extend that leg out sort of to the corner. It's just cap here. Just waking up the hamstring, just pat a little bit. Beautiful. And then bend the knee, bring that ankle back above the opposite knee. Keep the hand right where it is. And then come in for a twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, just allow a twist from those low ribs. Back to center. Lengthen that leg. And just notice the difference between the two legs. Okay? That so toes pointed up to sky, opposite leg comes up. Support yourself under the calf and the ankle. And just rock side to side. Try to keep the straight spine. Doesn't have to be perfect. One thing I love about yoga is it's all about acceptance. Loving yourself, accepting yourself just the way you are. Rest that ankle above the knee. Inhale, on the exhale, fold forward, and then heart leads. Doesn't matter how far down you come. Lift yourself back up, hand to instep, and lengthen that leg out, and just massage here up back. Yeah, just starting to wake up. Beautiful. Bend it back down. Keep your hand right where it is, and come in for a twist. Lengthen, exhale through first lips. Nice, easy twist. Unwind back to center and release that leg. And let's come in now for a butterfly pose. So, soles of the feet come together. And you might want to just gently butterfly the legs and the knees are moving up and down. Exhale, just still the knees. Inhale, start to bring the chest forward, bend the elbows, wrap your hands around the toes. And this time when you fold forward, let the back round. Chin drops down towards the chest. Let's do a couple full breaths here. Exhale, you might go a little bit deeper. And then start to lift the chin off the chest. Slide the hands back. Knees, beautiful. Let's go ahead and draw the knees together. Cross the ankle and roll up onto hands and knees. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sideways, I think so you can see me best. And feel free to put a blanket under your knees or any padding. And let's do, let's just center 
my breathing. Inhale, exhale. Let it go. This time on the inhale, let the belly drop down. Exhale, navel to spine, spine to sky. Inhale, belly drops down. Exhale, press into the tops of the feet. Other way. One more. Soft cat cow. And back to a neutral spine, onto tabletop. Okay. And if you, if you have a blanket handy, take your blanket. And I'm just going to fold it one more time. So it's like this, kind of a narrow blanket. And put it about a quarter of the way down your mat. Bring your hands forward of it. And let's just flow forward and back. Forward, let those hips drop. Back. Breathing one more time. And press it back. This time, let the knees come apart, toes together. And sit back. This is extended child's pose. Lengthen your arm, and you can rest your head on that blanket if you like. On an inhale, feel the expansion around the spine with the ribs. Exhale, curl the tailbone down toward the ground. Let's do a couple more full breaths here. Outside of the opposite leg and look over your shoulder toward that foot. Breathing. Two. And three. And then look back in front of you. Bring that foot back. Knee comes by the opposite knee. Slide the left foot back. about hip width apart and put your right hand directly in front of your right knee and then you're going to just slide the opposite foot back left foot back hand comes onto the hip so this may be the full pose for you you decide you can also just bring this arm up notice a straight line between the hands something we're going for and another if you'd like to put more energy forward and lift that back off the ground, foot is flexed, navel is drawn in, and watch your twist if you want to be looking somewhere, resting your eyes somewhere where you're comfortable. Beautiful breathing, give you another full breath here. hand in front of the left knee, right foot slides back, hand on the hip, open chest. Beautiful. See if you want to go further, hand comes up. If you want to go further, more weight forward, back foot comes up. No, 
higher than the hip. So this is where you get your strength here from a flexed foot and navel drawn in and where you're looking. First balance of the day. Beautiful. Hand comes down, foot comes down. Back onto hands and knees. Extend your arms up like a superman pose and rest your head down. And go ahead and just slide your elbows so they're under your shoulders. And on an exhale, firm the thighs, press the ground away from you. Release the breath. Beautiful. Long arms again. Head comes down. Lift the head, slide the hands all the way back to the waist this time. Elbows in by the body. Inhale, feel the belly against the mat. Exhale, lift yourself up. First up dog. Nice. Knees can come off the mat if you're ready. If not, we'll have a chance to do this later on. Back up on your hands and knees. And let's start to just back the feet here. So I'm going to flip to the side and back the feet. into your toes. You're opening your arches. For people who don't do this, this is really a lot of work. And then rest the tops of your feet on the ground. down puppy where you just stay keep your knees on the ground and press the ground away from you. I'm going to just come back into down dog for a second and just walk with you down dog walk the dog lengthen both legs roll up onto the balls of the feet and just to walk forward or jump forward if that's your practice and come into a forward fold though with bent knees. Forward fold with bent knees. So you feel the belly and chest actually resting on the thighs here, just to start. And let your hands rest on something, whether they rest on your knees, your ankles, your feet. Breathing. And start to slowly unbend the knees but try to keep the belly connected to the thigh. So it's a more traditional forward fold, and your knees can be soft and hangs. Nice. Nice inversion here. Blood's running to your head. Allows the brains to work in a different way. And then slowly with soft knees, walk the hands up, up, up. Bye. Nice job. Well, let's take a moment here into Dasana. First again, because you're upside down, let's let the energy find its way down the body. So first notice where the energy is. Maybe it's around the head and shoulders.
downwards until the edge is wrapping around your ankles. And the energy is drawing your feet inwards towards the ground. Feel your heels sink into the ground. Easy back, nice natural shape of the back, no holding here. Exhale again. The tension draws all the way down to the heels. See if you can lift the toes off the ground and then replace them from the pinky toe gradually all the way to the great toe and feel all four corners of your feet on the ground. And breathe. This is your standing mountain pose. And we'll come back here. We're going to be working in a wide stance today. So you might want to turn the other way on your mat. So the feet are nice and wide apart. And you're going to even, you can even turn your toes out, both sets of toes out, and bring the arms up into a V. Inhale, exhale, soft shoulders. Nice. Inhale, lift the ribs out of the waist. Exhale, you're going to bend the elbows and bend the knees. This is goddess. opportunity you really have to decide where your edge is. So if your thighs are working, you might want to come out a little bit. Let it just decide for yourself where's your edge. Beautiful. Let's inhale, come out one more time. Reach those fingertips. Exhale. Find that happy spot for you where you can really release into it. Breathing. Now, if you'd like to make this a little bit more of a challenge, a little bit more of a balance, go ahead and draw your hands toward the heart center. And see if you can close the eyes and stay right here. Beautiful. Nice job. So while your heels come out for a second, we're going to sink one more time in a minute. Come out, open the eyes. On an exhale, sink, just sink those hips. And remember what it feels like just to let the hips come down towards the ground. Because we're going to use that when we get into warrior two. Let's unbend, release, shake up those arms. Beautiful. We're going to start on this side. My toes are pointed, my toes are pointed towards the short end of my mat. And then the other foot is going to turn in slightly. Okay. Um, the other thing before we get into this is make sure you have blocks available. So if you have blocks, make sure you have them available near your mat. That's now going to be the top of your mat, which is going to be over here. The top. Further away so you can see my feet. Okay. So toes are pointing out. There's a straight line from the heel of this foot all the way to the arch of the other foot. There's your line. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, shoulders soften, navel drops in. Okay, and look over the middle finger of that foot that's pointed toward the short end of the mat. For me, it's my right foot. Inhale. And on the exhale, all you're going to do is bend the knee and sink the hips. See, there's still a length between my arms, my fingertips, and still my spine is straight. Here's your warrior two. Inhale, come up. And breathe. And feel free to adjust the back foot. Feel free to adjust 
We're not on the cover of Yoga Journal magazine. Do whatever you need to do to feel right. Let's do another warrior two. Sink into it. Imagine someone's pulling his other hand back. Nice straight spine. Beautiful. And one more inhale. Lengthen that leg. Centering breath. And this time go ahead and exhale. Sink into your warrior two. And take your block. Take your block and put it in front of the toes. Then a point of view. You should be able to see mine here. Yeah. So let's come into warrior two again. And then just bend over, just touch that block. Hand comes to the hip. So we're going to do the same thing standing that we did when we were on our knees. You're going to slide the back foot slightly in, walk the block away. And again, this might be your full pose. If you'd like to come further into it, you can begin to lift the back foot off the ground. And the hand can come up. So you have to decide what your edge is. For me, today, this is my edge. Let's go 
ahead and just make a wide stance again. Wide stance. And we're going to turn this toe, this set of toes out here. Other foot turns in. Try not to let the hips go too far this way. Okay. And give yourself as much space as you need between your legs. Inhale up. Exhale, soften. Open the chest. Draw the navel in for strength. On an exhale, warrior two. Press into the outside of the back foot. Inhale, lengthen. When you're ready, exhale, sink. Warrior two, straight spine. Over those little fingers. Inhale. Draw my back foot in a little bit. Need a little more support there today. Exhale. Warrior two. Same. Over and grab a block, put it right in front of those toes, and get ready for a half moon in a minute. Soften, warrior two. Lean over, touch the block, hand come to the hip, and start to slide the back foot in. Good. And then gradually, when you're ready, Maybe the back foot comes off the ground. Reach up first. And then the back foot comes off the ground if you like. I'm going to leave mine down. You're coming in for a half moon. That would be the full pose right here. With the back foot off the ground, no higher than the hip. Stay for a couple more breaths here. There you go. When you're ready, back foot comes down, hand comes to hip, back heel can rest. And take the block, draw it inwards. So it's still in front of your leg. Fingertips on the block or back of the hand to the inside of the knee. Other hand draws up. Try it. Come up a little higher. Breathe in. Come out. Firm the thighs. Reach up through the top hand. Come to standing. Just parallel the feet. Just take a moment in mountain pose. Your block 
comes down in front of you at whatever height you're comfortable at. Kind of starting, starting to go. Keep the legs nice and wide. Um, I can call this a wide leg forward fold or a wide legged dog. Fold forward from the hip crease to start. Let your hand rest on the blocks. Check in with yourself. The wider your legs go, the closer you are to the ground. And keep those feet parallel to each other. Toes are pointed straight in front of you. Exhale. Breathe through the mouth. Come down as close as you like to the ground. So if you if you do this in your own practice, feel free to do it however you like. Uh, maybe letting your head rest on a block is one way to go. I like to have my hands come all the way up to my toes. Um, and feel free to stack those blocks up as high as you're comfortable. And if you want to rest your head higher, you can do that. Nice centering breath, and let's just inhale up to sky, exhale, fold down, and walk yourself into a down dog. And let this be a complete expression of the dog. Press the hands into the ground, hand, push the ground away from you, lift the tailbone up to sky. And on an exhale, let your heels descend towards the ground. Roll up onto the balls of the feet, release your knees to the ground. And let's kneel for a minute, come into kneeling. Kneeling, roll the shoulders up and back. Take a wrist and just draw the wrist down. Inhale, exhale, out your way. Beautiful, release the hands, shake them out. I'm going to cross the ankles here and come back to seated. So whatever you'd like to have under you, um, a blanket or a bolster, it's a good time to get that. Come, come up to seated. And get nice and comfortable again. Feel those sits bones sink into the ground. Feel a nice tall spine. Exhale, soft eyes. So, I think I'd like to move into some seated twists here for now. So, I'm going to come 
really floor it on my blanket or maybe even release it, depending what's better for you. So lengthen one leg, this leg, bend the other knee, and then take this foot and put it on the other side of that thigh. So if your left leg is in front, lengthen your right arm and just wrap it around. So you draw the right knee towards left shoulder. Little twist here, hand can come behind you. Opposite hand comes around and just draw the knee to the opposite shoulder. So you can leave the hands together here, or you can bring one hand behind you. I notice that one side seems to require something different than the other side. Nice. Unwind, back to center. Let's come back to our butterfly. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward, hands wrap around the toes. Nice butterfly. Easy forward fold with a round back. show you. Just a little bit. So you can rock forward and back or rock side to side. And then release your feet to the ground one at a time. So both feet are on the ground, knees are pointed up to the sky. And take your left ankle and put it just above your right knee. I know you're lying down and sitting up. And then go ahead and lift your right foot off the ground and slide your hands under to the right thigh. So you're drawing it, you're really doing a supported pigeon here. And just let's breathe through that. About three times, three full breaths. You can also release that leg towards the floor if you need to, whatever makes you comfortable. Go. So release that right foot to the floor. Let the left foot come to the ground now. Nice. Other side. I'm gonna lie down. I'm gonna make sure you can see me. Other side now. Right ankle just above the left knee. And let that knee guide towards the ground. Don't force it, just allow it. And then lift the opposite leg up. Draw that knee in towards the chest. Keep breathing through it. And then when you're ready, release the left foot to the ground, right foot to the ground. into flying bridge. So make sure your feet are planted on the ground about the width apart. And if your practice is to do a more traditional bridge, feel free to do that. I like to do a flying bridge though with the group. Feel centered and strong. 
Inhale, feel the ribs lift. Exhale, lift the hips and bring the arms up behind you. Exhale, arms come through sky. And then when your hands are about this by your thighs, slowly bring the channel up to the ground. Let's do a few of those. We're going to lift on the exhale. Float down. Three more. Here, in a traditional bridge. Come down whenever you're ready. Beautiful. Okay, and take. Um, I'm just gonna roll over so you can see me. Take a blanket, and I'm gonna fold my blanket one more time. So it's not a too high a height, but I'm going to fold my blanket one more time so it looks like this. And I'm going to go back to laying down. And I'm going to put the blanket so it's right directly under my sacrum. So I'm going to slide it here. Yes, right under my sacrum. And I'm just going to lay back and I'm going to feel that opening right there. Yeah, and just allow that to happen. It's kind of like it's a very, very gentle supported bridge. If you want to go further, you can also put a block under that as well, under your saving as well. Just a little supported bridge here for a few seconds. recently that you can actually do legs against the wall without a wall um, and this is just one way to do it. I'm also going to suggest that if you're very new to yoga you might want to have a chair handy and um, or I'm going to show you another trick as well for support. Take two blocks and put them equidistant at the end of your mat and then put it a brick and I am a bolster on top of it. Put a bolster on top of it. So we have that it. I'm just gonna, just gonna have that available in case you need it. So let's take our blankets, put it under the safe room, and roll all the way back. Okay. Excuse me. Roll all the way back. And then Draw your knees into your chest and then lift. Draw your knees into your chest and lift up one leg at a time. This is to me the most easy and gentle legs up the wall that I've ever done without a wall. So let's just stay here and enjoy this. Before we move into our Shavasana. So you should feel like a nice flat area between your shoulder blades. And your chin is slightly tucked here. And then your arms are easy, maybe at a slight angle below the shoulder. Legs pointed to sky. This is a wonderful posture to do before you go to bed. It's very relaxing and, again, very easy to do. Follow the breath. 
You may have noticed that your breath has started to slow a little bit as we've come down to the ground. I know it's quiet, but sometimes quiet is a good thing. I'll just count a few more breaths here so you can relax. And this is a type of pose, it's a restorative pose that hopefully you feel like you can stay in it for a long time when you're on your own. I'm going to bend the knees, release the foot to the ground, the foot to the ground. And just lift the hips, release the blanket. And I'm going to roll up and I'm going to guide you into Shavasana. Um, it's Shavasana, but it's also what I call a gentle, easy, restorative pose, because I'm going to give you a lot of support. So one way to go into Shavasana is like I'm showing you here with two blocks and then the uh, oblong bolster over it. You can replace that with just a cylindrical bolster as well. So you can have either one near the end of your mat. And then take a blanket put it towards the top of your mat. And this is the way I'm going to encourage you to get into Shavasana, a relaxation pose, to so lay down. And when you put your legs over here, kind of the crease of the back of your knee is at the front edge of the bolster. And then kind of support your head and your neck with the blanket. Breathe, exhale, and draw the chin just slightly down. You can find your way there, and I'll try to find some nice music for us as we near the end of the class. natural rhythm. There's really nothing to do here. Just begin to notice the quality of your breath. What's happening in your mind and in your heart. Maybe you remember your affirmation from the beginning of class, or maybe something else is brighter right now. Just notice what's in your mind, if anything. And on exhale, just let all that go. Just let it all go.
and then begin to draw your attention from the inside outwards towards the skin. Start to notice the skin against the ground. Maybe you notice the backs of your hands or your heels. And if you'd like to start to bring movement to the fingers, toes, whatever feels natural for you. So your awareness is here and now. The ground is under you. The air is around you. And as you're ready, draw the knees into the chest. And roll the whole body over to the right side, coming into the fetal posture, and try to keep support under your head and neck during that time. And just take a moment to settle into the fetal posture. And once the energy is shifted, roll yourself up onto the side body and come back to seated, come back to a gently comfortable seated position. Feel the sits bones sink into the ground, feel the shoulders release. And if you like, bring the hands to heart center. Release the mind to the wisdom of the heart. Take the sense of peace you have and share it with everyone you meet, even if silently, in the hopes that they share it with everyone they meet. Bring peace into the world. Thank you so much for practicing with me this afternoon. I'm so grateful for your presence. Namaste. Namaste. The light in me sees the light in you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you to, to Judy Davis and to the staff of Phillips Andover for inviting me to teach with you today. I am I'm very grateful to share what I've learned.